Welcome to Undisputed. You're here thanks to Madden NFL 19. We hear you've got a big matchup later today with Melvin Gordon. Can you tell us about that first? Yeah, so a uh, big game today against Melvin Gordon uh, playing Madden 19. Um, you can check it out on uh, East, uh, EA Madden NFL uh, Instagram, uh, 3.30 Eastern time. Uh, this game is definitely a revenge game against the Chargers. Uh, definitely playing with the Steelers and throwing to myself a uh, hundred times. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Juju, it's Skip. Good to have Long Beach Polly in our house here today, even uh, remote here in Los Angeles. You obviously had a breakout season, and your teammates in Pittsburgh voted you team MVP. Were you surprised by that? Man, I was very surprised uh, with the team MVP. Um, I definitely didn't think, uh, you know, uh, that I was going to be picked. Um, more so just because, you know, uh, me, a young guy, uh, I'm just doing what I'm told on the field, just playing ball, having fun. And, uh, and the opportunity came, and they, they picked me. I was very shocked. Uh, to this day, man, I'm like, wow, man, like my teammates think very highly of me. I think that's like the most uh, the most important thing that, uh, to have, you know, uh, those guys look, uh, think of me. Uh, something very valuable. Mm. It was reported that your man Antonio Brown not happy with you being voted MVP. Did you sense any of that from him directly? Not necessarily. Um, obviously, I heard about it. Uh, people told me about it. But, you know, nothing, you know, from him towards me. Um, so, yeah. Do you think your winning MVP had anything to do with the team having some issues and problems with Antonio's behavior during the year? Um, I mean, not necessarily. I never really thought of it like that. It was more so, of, you know, just focusing on myself and my campaign, how I can do better. Um, obviously, there's some situations that A.B., his, the decisions that he made uh, with his injury that he, he was dealing with uh, kind of towards the end of the season. So, yeah. Juju Shannon Sharp here. You had an unbelievable season that Skip mentioned, uh, alluded to. But you do understand that having A.B. and him being one of the preeminent receivers in all of football, now there's a possibility there's sources and trade talks swirling around. Are you ready to assume that mantle and be the number one receiver? And now you're going to be getting everybody's best corner. You're going to be getting the double teams. Oh, most definitely, man. I think as a kid, you know, growing up, I always wanted to be the number one guy. Uh, now that I have the opportunity to be the number one guy, if, if it does come, I mean, obviously it, I'd prefer ABB, stay on the team, you know, be on the other side. You think about the numbers that we put up, both over 100 catches, over 1,000 yards, uh, first time doing Steelers franchise. I think it's unbelievable. But uh, like you said, man, if the opportunity to come to rise, I'm definitely going to embrace it and take that role. So through the second half of the year, did you start seeing some double teams just because you were having your breakout year? Oh, for sure. Uh, a lot. Uh, obviously getting their, their second best corner, uh, safety over top, cover two, uh, a lot of that. So the 22 man. And also, uh, you know, playing against the Patriots, you, you see a lot of double team. And, you know, playing against those defense that play a lot of man. What happened this year? You guys, I mean, you got a quarterback that's probably going to end up in the Hall of Fame. You got arguably the first or second best receiver in Antonio Brown. You have yourself, James Conner, double-digit rushing touchdown, over 1,000 yards. You have a top five defense. Why were you guys not in the playoffs? Man, that's tough, man. Obviously, there's some situations that, you know, we fell short on, on games that we should have never lost. And, uh, man, it's, it's tough, man. Uh, it's hard to say because, like, obviously, there's a lot of stuff that goes on. But, you know, not being able to beat the Broncos, not being able to beat the Raiders uh, in their stadium and, you know, lost the lead against the Chargers uh, as it adds on, you know, all those losses and, you know, fell short against the Saints. Uh, if we had the opportunity, you know, to have that game, obviously the situation would be different and we wouldn't be, you know, relying on other teams uh, for us to make the playoffs. And I think, you know, be, going through the ups and downs, uh, we just got to learn from it, come back next year and stay positive. You say there were a lot of stuff going on. Could you give us a little insight to some of that stuff you're talking about? I think more so of just uh, the situation with, uh, you know, the players and stuff like that. I think at the end of the day, we should have guys like, you know, Bell be on the team, uh, situation, what's going on with A.B., everybody just staying focused on the number one goal and just win the Super Bowl. Like I said, I think we had all the pieces in line. I think we had, you know, Hall of Fame quarterback, 
a great head coach, uh, top defense. I think we had all the pieces. I just think that if we just focus on the main goal and everybody wants to win a ring, I think it's possible. I think, Juju, you won some more of the fans over after your last game at home when you beat the Bengals, and then you went back out on the field and watched up on the Jumbotron, obviously, as Cleveland was trying to come back at Baltimore to put you guys in the playoffs. D did you get good feedback? I don't know how much you go on social media and, and read and, and absorb the fan feedback, but I watched it live, watched you watching it live, and it was a nice moment. What was your feedback on that? Man, it, it was amazing. It was incredible. I mean, for us, the, the, the stuff that we've been through, the ups and downs, and for us to rely on the other teams to put us to the playoffs, man, the whole stadium stayed. The whole stadium watched, and it was unbelievable because, uh, I mean, the fans, they care so much. Uh, no matter what we've been through, obviously they want to see us make it to the playoffs. And uh, for me to watch that and to get the feedback from the fans, uh, to all stay there together and watch, it was amazing. Um, every, everybody truly believes that, you know, you just never give up on the Steelers. Juju, the owner, Mr. Rooney, comes in. He says, Juju, I want to talk to you. And he sits you down and he asks you, he says, Juju, what do we need? How do we get to get into the playoffs, get to and win a Super Bowl? What do you tell Mr. Rooney? What do you guys need to do? What do you need pieces, if any? I think, honestly, is no more uh, problems. Uh, you know, get L. Bell back. Uh, keep A.B. Uh, on the team. And like I said, man, just go from there and just ball. You talk about James Conner having a great season. Um, Al Bell obviously is, is, a, is a game changer. Like I said, me and A.B. put up some ridiculous numbers, a top defense. Man, you just put, we have all the, we have all the pieces to the puzzle. Just put it together, get the team right, and man, let's play ball at the end of the day. And let's win the ring. You said, you keep alluding to Al Bell, and he, ha he wasn't <laughs> there all year, and you said problems. Did his absence and the way some of the guys in the locker room handled his absence, do you think that was a factor in maybe a little bit of the, the uneasiness or some of the dissension in that locker room? Yeah, I think, you know, with the whole social media thing, that's going to be put out there that how, how we approach the situation with L. Bell. Um, obviously, you know, some players took it the other way. But at the end of the day, I mean, James Carnick, he came to play. I mean, he's my guy. He's a young dude. He's doing great. And uh, like I said, man, but, man, we just need all the pieces. And dude, I'm, 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 I've, been asked, hey, I, I've been asked about A.B., L. Bell ben. all day this morning. <laughs> so I'm, it's getting tiring, man. Juju, before we let you go, how's the knee? We saw you that you injured your knee in the Pro Bowl. How's the knee, and what's the prognosis? The knee is great. Um, definitely uh, staying positive. I mean, staying healthy. Obviously, coming back this season even stronger, even better. Uh, thank you. All right, Juju, thank you for joining us. We hope you can come join us in studio sometime mm -hmm. as well. Enjoy the week.